All right, it's Christmas time and none of us want to gain weight. None of us want to gain fat. In fact, we want to start the new year where we ended off November so that we can see the best year coming up for 2024. And so today, I'm going to give you the five ways that you're going to be able to not gain a pound over Christmas. Now, to find this video, you got to go to our YouTube channel, look up Fit Club Winnipeg, and look up Don't Gain a Pound Over Christmas. So the first thing that you're gonna do is work out daily. So your mission is to go every single day so that you start your day off right. We know that as the day comes around, there's gonna be treats that are gonna be brought and that's a bunch of extra calories that you probably cannot burn off. But if you start your day right with a workout, it could be in person or it could be virtual. Virtual is high intense, it's very short, it's only 20 minutes and you as a member, you get access to have the virtual plus you get your attendance and if you have the time, then you can come into the gym throughout this busy season. My suggestion is to try and do a combination of both. At least you can start your day off right, and if it ends wrong, it'll create some form of balance. The second thing is the greens shake that I put as a video in the past. You're basically taking spinach, ice, the greens powder that we have at the gym, which tastes fantastic and it has a bunch of superfoods in it, along with a lot of anti-inflammatories, and it's a great way to create balance so that when you do have treats, at least you started your day off with a greens boost. Now here's a bonus tip. I've recently started adding fresh ginger, which gives it a nice bite to it. I've been adding turmeric into it, which is an anti-inflammatory. You can add ground up black pepper, which is an antioxidant. And then you can add a splash of cayenne pepper, which actually helps to boost your metabolism. Add that into your drink, and honestly, you won't even know that it's there, and it'll cost you under three bucks for that entire serving. Whereas a shot, one of those little shots, if you go to one of those fruit stores, or if you go to Superstore, they have the shots available in the fridge, and they're like six bucks each. So not only are you getting more volume, you're saving money, and you're getting that amazing start to your day. Number three is that you should get mobile. If you have a friend's event, try and make it something that makes you move, right? Like they have these activate, they have like ax throwing, you can do like, you can shoot arrows, like there's tons of awesome ways that you can make activity along with the wine and the drinks a part of your friend's date. If you're going for coffee, maybe you grab coffee and the weather's been so amazing, maybe you grab coffee and you go for a walk and talk versus a sit and eat a bunch of calories and let it pool as fat. So this holiday seasons, as you have your get togethers, try to make it so that you guys are more active. If you've got the room in your basement, get a ping pong table, especially if you're a dude. Like every dude that I know has played table tennis or loves table tennis. So you get one of those, next thing you, you got a crazy tournament and this could be a tradition for you and your friends. Now when it comes to being out and about or even just having it on your properties, it's cool enough that if you buy Nary's bars or protein bars, if you don't have access to Nary bars, just keep them in your car, keep them in your glove. And this way you're not pulling over to the Tim Hortons and buying some kind of bowl that you think is heavy or healthy, but it's super heavy in calories and plus all the extra calories that you're gonna be eating. It's just, you're not gonna be able to outwork it and it's a, it's a formula guaranteed to gain weight. So if you have a healthy snack on you, either like something that's portable, like those protein drinks, you can keep those in your bag, or you can have like the powder, which all you need to add is water, just put it in a cup, or have a Nary's bar sitting in your glove compartment. At least you're gonna keep yourself fed until it's dinner, dinner time, and you're not gonna spend a bunch of unnecessary money and also eat a bunch of unnecessary calories. And the last but not least is that you need to be that one person. You need to be that one person that actually brings some sort of healthy dish. Often when I go to these gatherings, unless they're like true fitness people and they think ahead, nine out of 10 times, the dishes that are on the, like, the table is all carb based. So we were at a gathering the other day and I look at the I look at the plates and everything is either some form of dessert, which I appreciate and I love, or it's some form of carbohydrate. To me, pasta with cheese is not a meal. <laughs> That's a side dish. But somehow pasta becomes the main dish and I'm like, where's the meat? I'm trying not to like, you know, let it bother me or anything like that. Luckily, I balanced out my day, assuming there was gonna be a high 
carb like mid dinner that night. And so the whole meals generally are all carbs. So knowing that, you can be the person that just goes and picks up any type of meat. Like even if you picked up fried chicken from KFC, which obviously isn't great for you, it's still better than you just having some type of baked pasta with no meat in it. At least the meat is gonna slow down the digestion of the carbs. So if you have like fried chicken, or even better, you can go and pick up like a rotisserie chicken. Walmart has a couple great different types of tasting chickens that you can get, and they're literally $7.99. So if you bought three of those chickens, you just quickly cut it up, man, people are gonna be so grateful that you brought the protein. You could bring pickles, which are super crunchy and tasty instead of chips. Celery's another key one. Carrots, everybody loves the sweetness. And what about diet drinks? Be a person that brings a, a case, like a 12 case of diet drinks. They're only eight bucks. There's no calories in them. Yeah, sure, you're drinking aspartame, but if you have the choice between drinking straight up raw sugar, which there's like 40 grams of sugar in there, or drinking some type of diet drink, which the FDA approves that you can consume in certain amounts of quantity, I'll take the diet drink all day. So if you're looking to bring some type of holiday snack or meal that is health conscious and calorie conscious, then go and subscribe to Neri's Kitchen. I put a link in the description. It's also found in our YouTube channel under our playlist. There, Neri puts together amazing holiday snacks and meals that you can follow, and it's gonna make sure that you don't gain a pound over Christmas.